Hey guys, um, quick video and you have to mind the editing because I wasn't planning on uh, making a video about this, but I looked on YouTube and there is nowhere, at least that I could find, with a quick solution to what was going on. So this is a Samsung uh, 3D Blu-ray player. There's, for those of you who have one, you're familiar with it, there's a touch screen here um, that usually works and you and you literally just touch it to do the controls. But what I found out, and I thought it was a TV, that's a brand new TV. The point is, is it kept changing inputs. So on the inputs, I actually uh, noticed that it was switching over after like three seconds and I couldn't hear anything. Um, so I thought it was a TV, like I said, change out the TV. Come to find out after some research, these are notorious for the uh, touch screen going bad. So again, mind the editing, but it's a quick like 10 minute fix. It's really simple, but um, I did it on a whim. Um, so it's not the best work, but uh, it's all about the content on this one. And uh, hopefully we'll post this for some guys to help them out because it's a pretty notorious problem, like I said. So good luck. Um, I read a couple forms and long story short is they said that if you disconnect the touch screen here, um, for those of you who have these, you'll know it's got like the input and um, fast forward, rewind, etc. right here. So if you disconnect the touch screen from the motherboard, then it should stop automatically changing. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by removing, there's four screws, one, two, three, four on the back. And I'll, exp I'll uh, show you those a little bit closer when I put it back together. But you're gonna take those off. You'll slide this back just a, about an inch and then it should just pop off. You have to pry from either side. Once you get that off, we'll take the tabs off of this. It'll pop open. Again, you'll see it in the reassembly. We're going to disconnect that little white clip on the front motherboard, and we're going to give it a shot. All right, guys, there's going to be little tabs. One here, one down here, one on the third. And then you have a handful up top here. You'll hear it kind of pop in like I just did. You'll see kind of the rivets there. So everything just pops in. There's two on the sides, there and there. So like I said, all I did was I just popped this out. I disconnected the display from the motherboard. And now I'm gonna put it back together. Now that this is popped in, you'll slide the casing over top and there's four screws that will go in the back and I'll show you that in a second. All right, guys, once you get this kind of seated on, it just pops over this. You'll just have to flex it a little bit. You'll see that this little gap here along the top. Sorry, it's really dusty. And all this does is you slide it from the back up. See how now it's nice and flush? And then I'm gonna show you here. You're just gonna put your screws back in here. Like I said, there are four of them. Once you have those four screws in, you should be good to go and we'll test it in a second. All right guys, we're gonna fire this back up here. You can see already that it's not changing. By now it would have changed. Um, obviously your touch screen's not gonna work anymore. So you'll have to use your remote. So don't do this unless you have a remote. Um, but I'm gonna change it to the source I want with my remote and you can see it's changing now. So D in because I'm using an optical cable and I'm just gonna go to any channel here. Fear thy neighbor, sounds good. Don't worry, I'm gonna hide those cords on the TV later. If it's a hatch, you will hatch them. It's why all of the Tyson chicken that bears his name is raised with no And there you go, guys. It was definitely a touchscreen problem because it would have changed by now. It was changing within like three seconds before. Sometimes a little bit longer, but it would definitely have changed by now. So I hope that helps. Good luck, guys.